hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how i can actually bypass the 403 errors so and i will show you the real time example for your better understanding so first we need to understand what is 403 error so uh, just uh, imagine there is a endpoint like https example.com slash admin slash users so whenever i visit this uh, url so it's showing like uh, 403 error so why because we don't have access this particular url so in this video i am going to show you how i can actually bypass the 403 errors so uh, for that we need we just need to go uh, any browser and then search 403 bypass github so uh, open first link so this is the github repo uh, i use uh, personally i use so one of the most powerful tool to bypass the 403 errors so first you just need to copy the code and open your terminal so and enter the command git clone so and paste the url so it's showing like already exist so uh, in my case i already download this tool so that's why it's showing like it already exist whenever you run this command it will be automatically clone the repository once it's done you just enter the command ls so here you can see the uh, tool will be show you just uh, go navigate to that particular tool so after that you just give the executable permissions for the tool um, so you just need to enter the command chmod chmod plus x and star it will be give the executable permission for this tool so before running the tool i will show you the endpoint so here you can see i don't have this particular uh, I, I don't have access uh, to this particular url so i just need to copy this url and enter this command bash 403.sh iphone u and iphone iphone exploit you just hit on enter so you just wait few minutes after completing the scan you can see that uh, it will be showing giving some curl commands you just copy the commands and open new terminal and paste it here and hit on enter so here you can see uh, we can able to access that content So here you can see I can able to access that content whenever I visit normally I visit this URL but it's showing like 401 error by by using this tool I can able to bypass this error and I can able to read the data in that particular URL so okay thank you 